Hello TJ Tubers. The referee Skumbuzo Gasa, who oversaw the match between Kaiser Chiefs and Mamilodi Sundowns, has been cleared by Safa Review Committee after a review. Despite appearing to be in an offside position, Lucas Ribeiro Costa, who assisted in Mamilodi Sundowns' second goal, was not flagged by the officials, allowing the goal to stand. Although Amakosi scored a late equaliser, the goal was disallowed by the referee due to a foul committed by Chiefs player on Mosa Libusa. Safa head of referees Abdul Ibrahim has maintained that the referee's decision were correct after thoroughly examining the available footage. There was nothing wrong with whatever they did. With the footage we have, we couldn't find any evidence to the contrary, said Ibrahim to kick off. So maybe Supersport TV are the ones that need to be able to answer because if we had a camera behind the goalposts, we would like to know why they couldn't provide footage from there. That's the only question I can answer. Beyond that, someone else asked me if the referees were cleared, but there was nothing the referees could be cleared on. It was just the review committee reviewing incidents, and according to the review, they never found anything wrong with the footage they had. That's for both incidents. With the one Chiefs denied equalizer, there was a possible push on the Sundowns defender. From the video material that we have, it's not clear. So we go with the on-field decision. The same with the possible offside. If Supersport can provide us with better angles, then we can say we have an offside situation. Ibrahim commented that te the technical team member linked to the Chiefs iPad, which was taken away by the referee, should have been showed a yellow card or sent off from the match. I think that maybe the referee was under the impression that he could tell them to remove the monitor because they were misusing the monitor, he added. The laws of the game allow the use of handheld mobile equipment like tablets and small laptops. But if they use it incorrectly, well, if you read the laws of the game, it will tell you about the use of electrical equipment. People can be sent off or cautioned for the misuse of the electrical equipment. Questioning match officials' decision. That is not the reason match officials allow it to be there. The device is for technical staff to analyze their players, analyze their team, analyze their systems of play. That's the reason they are allowed to have it there. On other news, former Kaiser Chiefs goalkeeper Brian Baloy has revealed how the club blocked his move to English Premier League Giants Liverpool. Baloyi spent more than 10 years at Chiefs before moving to Mamilodi Sundowns in 2004. During the late 1990s and early 2000s, he performed exceptionally well, making an impact in the 1998 AFCON and FIFA World Cup. Despite Liverpool's interest in him, their invitation for him to train with the team, Kaizam Dawung, the chairman of Chiefs, refused to release him. In 1998, we went to the World Cup. Great Kaiser Chiefs goalkeeper Peter Balak came to our camp, said Baloy. He says, Brian, I've been seeing you on TV. I said, my agent is here. Speak to my agent. He said... I've been speaking to Bruce Grobler and we want to get you to Liverpool. I said to them, I'm here to play the World Cup. I had just had a great AFCON in Burkina Faso. And they said, the chairman is here. He was there in the same hotel with us. He promised us that after the World Cup, 
when the preseason starts, we will allow him to come for a week and train. Then we can make decisions. Then we came back after the World Cup. Then I remember that those people made contacts with chairman. And the chairman said, no trial. If they want you, they must buy you. In a heart-wrenching turn of events, Stellenbosch FC coach Steve Barker believes that a decision made by referee Abongila Tom had a significant impact on the outcome of the game, ultimately costing his team the victory and the opportunity to win the MTN8 trophy. Barker expressed his frustration with the referee's allowance of a quick free kick by Pirates in an incorrect position, which resulted in them scoring a goal through Tsukhufazo Mabasa in the final minutes of the match. The goal was a decisive blow to Stellenbosch FC as Lebuhile scored a third goal shortly after securing Pirates' third consecutive MTN trophy win. I thought it was a really good game of football, very competitive, up until a decision that is absolutely indescribable that a free kick can be taken four or five meters closer towards goal when it's in and around your box, and then changes the complexity of the game, Barker told reporters after the match. It changed the complexion of the game. I was looking forward to extra time. I thought we were starting to look and be the better team. I felt if we went to extra time, we would have lifted the trophy. I'm very disappointed and proud of the effort we put in. But when you work as hard day in and day out, get yourself into a final, get yourself competitive, that it was basically taken away from you like that. It is a difficult pill to swallow, added Barker. People can say it's sour grapes, but a decision in the 90th minute there was an, an opportunity to restart where the free kick was and he, Abongila Tom, chose not to. And that basically changes the course of the game. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. If you haven't subscribed yet to the video, please make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. Thank you.